Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So I was looking at my YouTube channel last night and I realized I am coming up shortly to a thousand videos on the channel. 1,000 COC episodes, it's pretty damn insane, but that is how close we are. I think we're on about 830, 840, so not too far off. And I realized I haven't done a video on this one specific topic. Now, what you're about to hear inside of this episode, I promise you, is completely mind-blowing. You may not believe what you are about to hear, but I've done my research. These are the facts, guys, so make sure you stay tuned. So I'm about to tell you 10 different things about this game. I have no idea which one comes first and which one comes last. I don't know which order they come in. I'm just going to show them to you. I'm going to tell them to you. And at the end of the episode, I want you guys to go down below and let me know which one, which one of these things is the most shocking. So please, if this is the first time you are seeing the channel, my name is General Tony. We are doing a 700,000 subscriber giveaway. And if you want the chance to win a $25 gift card, iTunes and Android, all you need to do to enter is leave a like on this video just to show some support to the channel. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the giveaways and of course the winners. There is a link in the description box, guys. Hit the link. Hit enter, you will be entered into the 700,000 subscriber giveaway. So we're about to get ourselves into these 10 things. As I said, they're not in any specific order. When you get to the end of the video, let me know down below which one is your top ranked. So I've decided to get this one out of the way first because there is a lot of controversy around who is actually the highest level player inside of the game. So most people actually believe that Brandon, Brandon COC, he has a YouTube channel, although I don't know if he's actually like that active on it anymore. Unfortunately, I don't think he's uploaded for a couple of weeks, so I hope he does come back as he was once the highest level player inside of the game. So Brandon is currently, I believe, level 363, maybe 364 inside side of the game his last episode he was level 363 however he is not the highest level player in the world guys loads of you think he is well he is not the highest level player is actually a guy and i do i do apologize if i uh, if i pronounce his name wrong i think he's called willy hiker i know it sounds weird guys i'm sorry if i pronounce the name wrong but he's actually level 389 so he is, what is that, 26 levels above Brandon. That is massive. So that is the first one out of the way. As I said, these are not in any specific order. I want you guys to put them in order for me once you've watched the entire video. So we're about to get ourselves into number two. Now this could actually be the most insane out of the 10 you are about to hear. So the most gems ever owned. Now when I say that, what I mean is the most gems ever like stored inside of one account at one moment in time. You're not going to believe this. 1,293,000. 245 gems and that was owned by a guy called Samson JC. So this guy had 1.3, just under 1.3 million gems inside of his account at one single time. So if we just think about that for a second, 14,000 gems is $99.99. We'll say $100. $100. So if we times that by 10, 140,000 gems is $1,000. So this guy had just under $10,000 worth of gems inside of his account at one time. And bear in mind, guys, $10,000 is not enough to max out a base. So this guy spent 10 grand on COC, didn't even manage to max out his base, but that is still so insane. 1.293 million gems. Wow, the most I've ever had. I think is about, I think I've had about 60,000 and that's loads. What is the most amount of gems that you have ever had in your account at one time? Let me know down below. That being said, guys, let's make our way into number three. So another big one coming up. This is definitely a big one. So a season lasts obviously one month. There are 12 seasons in COC. Each one is obviously one month. So January, February, March, etc, etc. Well, the next fact is definitely one of the most shocking, definitely one of the most unbelievable. And to be honest with you, I don't even think it's real, but it is. It is real. And that is the most attacks done in one season. Take a guess. You got your answer in your head. Take a guess. Let me know your number in your head. It is 70,400. This guy attacked 70,400 times in one single season. So one month, 70,000. I think the most I've ever done is maybe like, I don't know if I'm lucky, maybe a couple of hundred, maybe four, five hundred. I don't know what league he was in. I'm going to guess 
and say that he was most likely in the lower leagues, maybe silvers, maybe golds, maybe even bronzes. I'm not too sure. I will try and find that out. So moving on to number four and a very similar fact to that, the most troops ever donated by one single person. This is not by an entire clan. This is just by one person in a single season is 1.15 million. And that was by a guy called Kevin. So the most troops I've ever donated in a season, I think is between three and 4,000. This guy donated 1.15 million. I don't know how that's possible. He must have literally been sitting on the game, blowing gems and just donating giants. I presume that the people that donate these insane amounts of troops just donate like giants, barbarians, archers, maybe like some goblins and stuff like that. But 1.15 million, this guy has donated over a thousand times or close to a thousand times what I've donated in an entire season. So I think many of you may actually know about this one, but I'm going to tell you it anyway because it's definitely one of the weirdest. It may not be one of the most insane, one of the most unbelievable, but it is definitely one of the weirdest. So the amount of maxed out bases 100% maxed out bases is between 0.25 and 0.3%. So obviously, the majority of them are going to be probably gemmers, I'm not going to lie. Maybe half of them are gemmers and half of them have legit maxed out their bases. Remember, this does include all of the new and the most recent updates, but obviously... Come the middle of September, there will be 0% maxed out because hopefully we will be receiving a new update. So make sure you stay tuned and of course subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the new content that will be coming out in the game. So yeah, currently between 0.25 and 0.3% of all bases are 100% maxed out. That is insane. Leading on from that, going straight into number six, and this is very similar to the previous one, the most popular town hall level that is currently inside of the game. So what do you think the most popular town hall level is? Remember, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now, this does not include the uh, the dead bases, so the bases which people do not play on and haven't played on for a long time, because there are loads of, you know, town hall ones out there who have played for maybe an hour and then hated the game. Town hall twos done the same thing. Maybe there's some town hall fives out there who have played for a couple of days and then just got really bored with it so the most popular town hall level currently is actually between town hall 8.5 and town hall 9 the uh, statistics say that there is a very close very similar amount of town hall 8 to town hall 9 bases but it actually says that the town hall 9s are very rushed in comparison to the town hall 8 so the most popular and probably the best town hall out there in terms of how many there are is currently town hall 8 i believe there are a lot of completely maxed town Town Hall 8 bases or close to max Town Hall 8 bases out there, which is pretty, uh, pretty shocking, pretty insane because Town Hall 8's quite a high level. I mean, I'm not going to lie, Town Hall 8, not too far off Town Hall 11. Obviously, the difference between Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9 is huge. Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 10 is massive and Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 11 is ginormous. So there is a long way to go before those Town Hall 8 bases do become Town Hall 11. So this is actually one of the most interesting facts. So, so far we've had some mind-blowing ones, we've had some unrealistic ones, we've had some weird ones. This is actually one of the most interesting. Now, I'm not sure if loads of you know about this, but your heroes, the king and the queen only, to go from level 0 to 40 obviously takes a very long time. Well, check this out, guys. To go from level 0 to level 28 is the same as going from level 29 to level 40 so it's pretty weird how it works obviously if you do have level 28 heroes that means you are officially halfway through to maxing out your heroes in terms of xp so it's quite interesting if you've got level 28 and you thought you were further than halfway no you are not you are only halfway to maxing out those heroes so number eight and number nine are actually, they've been heard of many times before, but I decided to put them inside of this episode instead of incorporating other facts into the video because these are like the Hall of Famers and they definitely need some limelight. So number eight is actually the first Legend League player and I'm sure you've all heard of him before, Shaheen UAE. I don't know where he's gone now, guys. I haven't seen him on the top table for such a long time, but the highest current trophy count that has ever been achieved inside of the game, 6,000 trophies was actually broken not long ago guys and the uh, the current record holder is a guy called wolf and he is 6076 trophies so my highest trophy count 
is 5,007. This guy had over a thousand trophies more than me, which is pretty damn insane. I'm guessing he had a completely maxed out base, but I can't be sure. Okay, so you won't believe this, but Wolf has actually just been overtaken this season. So Wolf was the last season's trophy record holder. Well, now it is actually held by a guy called Steph77, who has 6,092 trophies. And then one trophy below him is a guy called Maid, M-A-A-D. And then a couple of trophies below him is a guy called Diablo. So there are now a couple of uh, trophy record holders who have actually got higher than Wolf this season. So they are closing in on 6,100. So here comes number 10, and this is perhaps the most surprising of them all. Clash of Clans is actually ranked higher in all app grossing stores than Clash Royale. Considering Clash Royale seems to be the most popular, like everyone talks about that a lot more than COC. Everyone always says COC is dead. Believe it or not, COC is actually ranked higher in the app grossing store than Royale, meaning more people spend money on COC than Royale, which is quite weird because Royale is definitely a pay to win game. In comparison to COC, it may be some sort of aspect pay to win, but not as bad as Royale. So they are the top 10 facts, guys. The top 10, you know, most interesting, weird things about the game. Leave a like down below and let me know in that comment section which one is the most surreal. I will see you very shortly, guys. Have a great day. Love you all. Peace out.